Kelly's Reading Corner, Kelly's Reading Corner. Because what else would I be doing with two kids during a pandemic but reading picture books? So join us. Hey everybody, welcome back to Kelly's Story Corner. Today I'm going to read you a totally messed up story. It's true. But first, I just wanted to show you, ooh, uh-oh, see, things just happen, don't they? Everybody messes up. Well, let's start again. Okay, this is a perfectly messed up story. And what I wanted to show you was the necklace that my nephew made for me a few months ago. And I thought it was a really good idea. I wanted to share with you what he did was he cut very thin, like thin pieces of paper, rolled them round and round and round, stuck them with glue until they were a bead. And I think he must have put them on something, rolled it around and then pulled it off. I'll have to double check. But I, yeah, you just roll up paper and it becomes a bead and then you string it and there you go. You've got a nice new bead necklace. So thank you very much, sweetheart. And now back to the book. I have to make an introduction. This is Louie's story. See, this is Louie. Hi guys. I don't know if he saw it. <sighs> Once upon a time, little Louie went skipping along. Tra la 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 la, he sang. Oh, he looks so happy. See. For in his heart, Louie knew that everything would be just, hey, hold on. What is that? Oh. oh, a jelly stain. How did that get there? This isn't right. Who would eat a jelly sandwich? Well, they're reading my book. Oh. oh. Oh, jelly and peanut butter. Ugh. Oh, the crunchy kind. Ooh. And hey, 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 hey. Well, somebody's fingerprints are all over this. Gosh, it's a crime scene. Oh. Let's see, all right. Oh no, what's next? Oh, orange juice. Oh, my story is getting all messed up. He doesn't, he doesn't look like he's very happy or that he likes this at all. <sighs> and he says, we need to show some respect here. Books are important. They teach us stuff and they inspire us. Now, can I please get back to my story? Thank you. You can just hear his little foot tapping. Tap, 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 tap. <sighs> All right, from the top. Once upon a time, little Louie went skipping merrily along. Tra la la! What? You have got to be kidding. This is awful. Quick, get a paper towel. Get a paper towel. Hang on. Just one second. I have one right here. Rub, 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 rub. Oh, careful. Careful. And... Oh, ugh. This is the worst thing ever. What am I going to do? Whoa, he's really freaking out. Oh, chill out, man. It's just a story. All right, one more time. Stop. Once upon a time. You know, he's saying, stop. Just forget it. My story is ruined. It's all over. I am just in a messy old book that will end up in some garage sale and no one will ever want, read, or love. Ooh, that's pretty harsh. He's being pretty hard on himself, isn't he? Poor guy. 
Okay. Oh dear. <laughs> I give up. Go on without me. This is Louie's story. Who cares? Oh, I think he does care, but he's just a little bit frustrated, huh? Let's try and start the story again. Okay. Once upon a time, little Louie went skipping merrily along. tra la 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 he sang. Oh, life was so much simpler back then. For in his heart, Louie knew everything was just... What? Just what? What? Well, I want to know now. Hmm. Let's see what it was. It was just fine. Wow. Uh, everything is fine. I'm still here. You're still reading, and it is a pretty good story. Messes and all. Hmm. Interesting. <gasps> so, come on, let's finish this. This is Louie's story. I love it. And nothing is gonna stop me. Oh, phew. Well, isn't that a relief? Well, you know what? Sometimes when you're just walking along singing tra-la-la-la-la. Yeah, I know, Riley. Something happens. Something happens and things don't go the way that you expected and you have to change your plans. And it, it may be very, very frustrating and irritating and all those ing words. But you still got to go on. Even if someone drops a massive glop of jelly from the sky onto you. Even if somebody drops a huge wad of peanut butter, the chunky kind, from you, from, from the sky on you. These things just happen. So you take a little break. You might feel sorry for yourself for a little bit. And then you kind of, you rally. And isn't that right? Yeah, isn't that right? I told you. Yeah, Riley agrees. You just kind of rally. You deal with the fact that there's two crazy kids running around here wanting to love you way too much, and you just, you adapt, right? That's that's what we do as people. Just change is happening all of the time. And you can't stop it, so you may as well go with it. Messes and all. Anyways, I thought everybody should read this book. It's one of our favorites. And, you know, maybe if there's a time where you're feeling like this, just remember little Louie and that, even though he faced some challenges on the way, he still made it, which is, I think, even more important than doing something the first time and getting it right. Sometimes you need those challenges, and then you get somewhere great, like in your own book. All right? Well, that's it for now. Um, looking forward to seeing you again on Kelly's Reading Corner. Bye for now. Anyways, I hope you like the story, and... Oops. Gotta go clean up the mess. Bye. Thanks for joining us. See you next Friday. This has been a Ginger Cat production.